In this video, I'm going to be building a carport next to my house. I started by digging nine holes uh, in which I inserted a 12 inch tube that I filled with concrete and inserted 10 inch bolts, four of them, through a face plate which I will be welding the vertical beams to. Measured those out and got those in place where I need them to be. And then I just needed to order metal. foot segments. I have uh, 10 segments of 4 by 4 by 12 feet. Then I have 6 2 by 4s and 4 2 by 2s. I'm going to tighten down these nuts grind off the remainder of the bolt. And then using a pump, I'm going to secure the, uh, the nut to the bolt so that it doesn't back out naturally. over time. Like that. I cut and bent over the top. This will be the cap for each one of the vertical supports. And I'm pulling it tight so that I can weld it up. Here's what it looks like. It's not the best job, but it'll do after I've grinded it out. So I've only tacked that side for now. And as you can see, I've notched out sections for the cross beams. Corner is all done. You can see the slant that it has to the house for runoff. I'll have another post in the center there going up to support the middle. A little using the, the line level right in the middle of the, the distance between them, I'm able to get the height off of. A little windy today, but looking at it, it looks pretty much perfect, so I know where to cut that to level it. Alright, so I've cut, I've left a, a little piece that I can bend over for the cap, but I've also put a, a little uh, bracket up there, welded it on, so that I can support the beam as I put it up, because I'll be lifting it by myself. So I'll put the ladder in the middle and, uh, and lift it up and have it supported so that I can then go side to side and tack each side and weld each side up once it's all good and go. Alright, so I've also notched out the other side so that I can just drop those into place. I still need to get up and weld that side right there. And then over here, you just set this one up there on that little support that I welded on. And I have this strap kind of snugging up the two sides together so that I can have a good tight gap there when I make the weld. Alright, so. Here, I kind of notched out the section and then folded over that top to cap off that so when I weld it, it'll be closed. 
and I'll run the beam, the center beam, all the way over there. That's where I'm going to be having another one of these posts installed. That way I can get it a, a line perfectly centered and, and level. So each one of those notches will receive a beam. Also got the center beam up. I haven't yet welded the top. I just welded the bottom there. I've got it for support. When I get that cross beam in the center here, which is going to be the, instead of the 2x2, two two, it'll be a 2x4. A then I'll weld it all together along with the uh, the ends. I still have to put the support beams in the center over there and then right up there and then that'll be all the support beams and then I just have three more of the cross beams the two by twos here to install and then I just have a bunch of welding to do and uh, then we'll be done with that. Alright, just installing the third one here. This one's a little tight. There we go. All right. That's what it looks like so far. So I gotta finish that cap up there and bend it over and weld it down. Getting down to the last pieces of metal. And there's my daughter swinging in the back. <laughs> All right, so for that last beam that's gonna go across the middle, that's the uh, two by four instead of the two by two. I've simply created a little support there at the end in the middle I've notched it out so that it can slide right in there um, you know, like a Lego and just connect and I'll also support on the other side because as I lift these up you know I'm climbing a ladder lifting them they're fairly heavy I want there to be some support on the end and then I can just uh, weld and grind it off at the when I'm done I'll go ahead and get that up there and see if it fits, see if I measure it right. Alright, All right. let's see if I can get this in one-handed. There we go. Woo! That could have been bad. It's so close. I'm gonna have to put the camera down. All right, I got it most of the way. Now I just need to push it a little bit. All right, I think with some good hammer hits, we might be able to get it to fall in. Man, it sounds like a gong. It's so loud. Alright, we're still a little high. Alright, there we go. It's good. Now just to weld it up.
From here, it's just simply welding up every single other joint that I have uh, that I haven't welded yet, and uh, we'll, we'll be done with the welding. All right, so I finished welding and I put up one of the the roof pieces. I've got seven more to go. We are getting there. So here's the screws that I'm using. They've got a rubber washer on the inside to seal it, everything off. And you can kind of see it gets squished out. And I'm putting them in every in the middle of every section, all the way down. So, only seven more of these 24 foot sections to go. I already put a few up there. They're pretty heavy, pretty awkward to get up by hand, but with enough persistence, it's doable. All right, almost done installing the fourth panel. It's getting, uh, starting to get dark. The sun's going down, but just a few more screws in this panel and then I'll be able to move over and do the last four. Hopefully I can finish it tonight. All right, it's the next morning and I only have one panel left. A couple more screws and then I'll be done with the with the roof. I just have the bottom set of screws along the there to do, but everything else is in. Looking good. Here's a sneak peek of my next build video.